Today we're going to visit with you about a bonus premium contract that CFE uh, currently offers. Um, we will offer it during different times throughout the year, so don't be afraid to get a hold of us to find out um, if and when we do offer this contract. But it's a great way to add a premium, um, get a little more money for your bushels, uh, either old crop or new crop. Yep, and prices are always changing on these uh, bonus premium prices. So the prices we use in the video are probably not going to be the same as current prices. Yep. So, all right. So Melissa, I have so I have five thousand bushels of corn in the elevator. It's on free price later right now, and then I have another five to ten thousand bushels in my bin that I haven't um, got hauled yet. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm getting close to selling. I mean, I think the prices are, are pretty decent, but I would really like to get um, a dime or so higher on my corn. Uh, what Do you have any sort of contract that would give me a higher price today? Yeah, yep. So we're actually offering our what we call our bonus premium contract here at CFE. Um, we can actually get you an extra 15 cents over our posted cash price at any of our CFE locations. Um, so the price later bushels that you talked about would be open to that since they're unsold and any bushels that you have on the farm that are unsold would also um, be able to go against that. Um, so today, for example, uh, let's say you wanted to do that offer today. What, which um, location are your bushels located in? Um, they're in Ocheden. They're in Ocheden? Okay. Yeah. So let's just take a look here and see what Ocheden's cash price is today. So looks like we're right around a 360 cash price at Ocheden. Okay. So we can add 15 cents to that. That'd give you a 375 today. Cash price. Yep, on any bushels that we would do today. Um, so, so I could come in and get a check for 375 on the 5,000 bushels that I have in here? Correct, yep. Okay. And then, so there's another side to this contract. So, okay. so with the old crop offer, or the old crop bushels that you sell that you get the 15 cent premium on, mm -hmm. you're also going to put a new crop offer out there on equal amount of bushels. So okay. if you are going to sell 5,000 today, um, let's use like this fall for an example on your new crop. Mm -hmm. So we currently have a strike price at 410 for this fall. It operates off December futures on corn. Um, if on November 22nd, futures is 410 or above, you're obligated to deliver us another 5,000 bushels this fall at 410 less basis on November 22nd, Okay. if that makes sense. Okay, I'm trying to, trying to wrap my head around it. So mm -hmm. 5,375 today mm -hmm. and then Come fall, if the price is at 410 or higher, if the December futures are at 410 or higher, yep. then I deliver at what price? You deliver deliver equal amount of bushels and it'd be 410 less basis okay. on November 22nd. So it's okay. all based on what November 22nd does. Okay. If it's not 410 or above on that day, you're not obligated to deliver us any new crop okay. so against I could, this contract. I could put those bushels in the bin or I could put them on like a price later or extended price. So if time. you actually do the fall offer with us off the December futures, say you start combining in October, yep. you can bring those bushels in anytime. We're not going to charge you any storage on those bushels if we know that, that you would like them to go against this or until we know for sure if they're going to have to be delivered against this. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's a really nice option for you as a producer if you know you're going to be hauling bushels in the fall anyway. Mm -hmm. um, not everybody's always got 100% of their bushels sold. It, sold. Um, mm -hmm. So to have 5,000 hanging out there usually doesn't bother a guy for the most part. Okay. Um, there is a second option. Say, say you um, would like opportunity to maybe have a little narrower basis. You don't want your basis to be set on November 22nd. Um, if you've got some on-farm storage, and it sounds like you do since you've got some additional to sell yet off the farm, yep. there is a March 2020 option okay. on the new crop bushels. So in that case, say you put some bushels on, on the farm this fall when you're combining, uh, the March of 20 offer would be at 420 instead of 410. Okay. So that date would be February 21st. That would be the expiration date on that. Okay. So if it's 420 or above, March futures on February 21st, mm -hmm. you're obligated to deliver the, another 5,000 to us next March. Okay, so the, the premium's the same, it's just the, the strike price goes up by 10 cents? Correct, yep. Okay. 
Yep, so sometimes I encourage a guy if he's got some on-farm storage and he wants to maybe realize a little narrower basis, typically I would say we'll have a narrower basis in February than we do in November. In fall. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yep. that makes sense. So that would be an option so, for you too. So if I go with the, the fall option, what what happens if the price is above 410 in July, but by the time we get to that expiration date of November yep. 22nd, it's below that 410? It, it hit 410 in July, what happens with that? So that doesn't mean anything. What happens previous to that date, it's okay. all based on what happens on November 22nd. Okay, so it's kind of all or nothing on that last Correct. date. Correct. Okay. Yep, so let's say for example, say it is over 410 on that day, let's say it's 420 or something mm -hmm. instead on November 22nd, you're still in at 410. 410. Yep, so okay. make sure you're comfortable with that 410 offer. Okay. Um, but you're still getting 15 cents on your old crap yep. too, so yep. you, know, you gotta consider so, that. So what are the December futures trading at today? So today December futures is at, let me take a look here for you. Today December futures is trading at 395. Okay, so we would have to see a, a 15 cent rally. To Correct, the, for, that, for that to be realized, that 410 okay. number for you. Okay. Yep. I've been hearing hearing it on the radio and like I've get, been getting text messages about this bonus premium yep. and I really want to do it for my soybeans um, but I don't have any old crop soybeans. Is there a way I can capture a bonus on forward selling soybeans? Like yep. forward sell and get that bonus? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the bonus premium contract that we offer, um, there is an option to add the premium to the futures cash price on okay. those. So um, let's just say, for example, we're at like uh, 840 at one of our locations okay, for, for, for fall of 19. Okay. So you can add um, 25 cents, for example, to that 840. Mm -hmm. um, with that particular offer, then you're also putting in an offer on an additional sale of new crop at 980 November futures on soybeans. Okay. So in that particular instance, if on October 25th, November soybean futures is 980 or above, you're obligated to deliver us equal amount of bushels that you take the premium on, that 25 cent premium okay. on. So if I, if I forward sell 2,000 bushels, I get that 840 plus the 25 cent bonus. Correct. And then I have an, an additional 2,000 bushel offer out there. Correct. And I don't know if that offer is gonna hit or not. Right, you won't know if that'll hit until October 25th. Okay. this fall. Um, if it's not 980 or above on that day, you're not obligated to deliver an extra 2,000 bushels. Okay. You just got to take your 25 cent premium on the original new crop bushels that you sold. Okay. So I'll just, I, I'll basically, I, I want to do this contract today. So um, okay. 2,000 bushels and whenever I start harvesting, then I can just haul them in? Or? Correct, yep, that's another nice thing about this contract uh, for the fall offer. Um, whenever you start, say you start combining sometime at the end of September, you know, I, mm -hmm. conditions are good for you to start doing that. You can bring bring the bushels in, uh, the ones that you have sold for sure, and the ones that you're not sure um, if there's gonna be sold or not. We okay. will not charge you any additional storage or anything okay. um, till we, you know, we just will know for sure on October 25th. Okay. So. Yep. And then and then my second offer the 2000 bushels if the if the board is higher than 980. Yep. What what type of cash price does 980 futures put me at? on my second offer. So typically I would utilize, um, considering the latest market conditions that we've had, you know, with last year and this fall, I would use like a dollar basis. Okay. Um, you can figure wider than that if you want to in your head, but I, I would most generally generally okay. use a, a dollar basis okay. to come off of that 980. Um, so let's say for example, say it's 990 or something instead of 980 when we get to this fall, mm -hmm. that you're still in at 980. So make okay. sure that you're comfortable with that, you know, hanging out there as an offer yep. if you do this yep. contract. Okay. Well, the, the market would still have to rally a, a decent amount to get up to that 980 level. And Correct. I'm, I mean, I guess I'm happy selling bushels into a rally um, of 30, 40 cents and, yep. and eight, 880, 870 pretty comfortable with that. So. Right, yep, yeah, because today you couldn't sell an 880 cash on okay. soybeans. Um, 
I don't think anywhere uh, competition wise or in CFE locations are offering 80 cash. So, okay. so to me, I guess I would, if I was in your shoes, I'd, I'd feel pretty comfortable having that offer hanging out there. So okay. at least on a percentage of your bushels. Yep. 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 Oh, sounds good. And then when, when would I get a check for this? So you would get a check for this, this fall when the bushels okay. are actually delivered physically. Okay. So, gotcha. yep. And then would I be able to defer that if I want to? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. You could either take the money in 2019 or, or we could defer it to 2020 for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And then same thing with the, the bonus premium. If, if we're above 980 in the, the summer, um, it doesn't matter until that last day. Correct. correct. Yeah. But okay. it's all based on what happens on October 25th on okay. that offer. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks for coming in today. Yep. Thanks, Melissa.